people see things as they are and say why, and others see them as they could be and say why not. I see stem cells as an enormous opportunity to essentially change the dynamics of medicine. It is healing from within. Stem cells are, are basically our inert uh, body's ability to heal, to regenerate, to, to bring back the youthful genes that we once expressed as children. So when you really start to understand stem cells, you say, goodness, all of these disorders, we have the capacity to treat and to cure without exogenous medications, without surgery. We're at the vanguard of that. And that is what captivates me, that's what keeps me going. Well, Dr. Petromos has, has got a fantastic uh, resume. You know, he's the godfather of the anterior cruciate ligament, the ACL. And so when someone like that uh, realizes, that there, realizes that there's potential uh, for stem cell uh, therapeutics, uh, then it's probably time to listen. And he is uh, you know, a, a world leader in this field, uh, venturing out uh, into the stem cell world. And I, he picked our product to do so. Regarding these stem cells and how they work, we found that they help people with various disorders get better. For example, arthritis. I'd always been interested in non-surgical approaches for arthritis, and it has been found that injecting stem cells helps people with joints that had been thought to have a necessity for joint replacement <clears throat> often do well without one. It was also found that for autoimmune disorders, things like um, MS, for example, that these cells would both modulate the immune system where your body is attacking yourself so it did much less and help these tissues heal. So I evolved from being interested in it for osteoarthritis to inflammatory arthritis like rheumatoid arthritis, which is an autoimmune disease or lupus, for example, lupus arthritis, to other autoimmune diseases. And then we directed, I have very smart people working for my foundation, and we directed ourselves to identify all the areas where these stem cells could be effective. We also looked at safety and found out that they are incredibly safe. These are what nature has evolved us to heal ourselves with. I'm here, this is my second treatment. Um, I live in chronic pain. I came down here to uh, Antigua about two months ago. I received my first treatment and my pain went from about a seven to a two. So I'm here again to do it again to keep the momentum going. Dr. Padromas is excellent. Everything is very smooth to the point. You know, um, the injections are no problem. The IV is no problem. You know, there's really no problem. Everything is smooth here. The resort is beautiful. I'm pretty in tune with my body. And when they did these stem cells, they do 50 million at a clip through an IV. And I was just laying there and all of a sudden, I felt my lungs opening up. I just took a breath and I just kept, it just, inhaling I was able to inhale more and more and more and I says oh my god I said this stuff is working right now vitro biopharma found a way to enhance that quality of stem cell uh, to a further degree to really yield probably the best umbilical cord stem cells in the world at this point these stem cells for vitro biopharma are called mesenchymal stem cells which comes from the umbilical cord tissue uh, which has the highest number of stem cells and potency within, you know, that's really where a baby gets all of its organs and formations. You know, we all want to change the world in, in a great way and leave something behind that, uh, uh, that is truly transformative. 100% go with vitro biopharma, the AlloRx stem cells. These, these are definitely probably the best in the world. And uh, I would definitely recommend Dr. Padromas and coming down to uh, Antigua. I did this eight weeks ago. I f I'm totally different. My energy level went from a, a two to a seven. I, I'm, I'm good. 
very, that's why I'm here again. I want to keep the momentum going. And I plan on doing it again probably next year, maybe in May. I'll, I'll, I'll do this again and probably once a year for the rest of my life. Antigua checked a lot of boxes for us. Most importantly, we needed quality doctor, quality clinic with which to partner. So we researched this extensively and came across our partner here, um, Dr. Joseph John, who four days ago was knighted by the British Commonwealth. So he is now His Excellency, Sir Dr. Joseph John. When, when, you, when you get a knighthood, it is intended to mean that you have made an indelible and significant contribution to your country in a way that really impacted huge numbers and you know, changed the, the game, so to speak, in whatever field you're in. So that's the reason why people get, knight, people, you know, get knighthood. And I tell you this, or I mention this, to give you an idea of the esteem with which he is held here. He is a native Antiguan who went to Columbia to medical school, did a surgical residency in New York, a fellowship of residency at Yale, and was called back by the Antiguan government to help build their public hospital. So he is, above all, a high quality doctor. We talked to him. I told him our vision. The horizons for stem cell are mind boggling. The, the numbers of people that can be helped and avoid toxic drugs and surgery. And Dr. John shared that vision. So it became clear to us that this was the right place. The scientific literature shows safety and efficacy for, and we are safely and successfully treating, in conjunction with specialists in these areas, a wide variety of disorders, including osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, kidney disease, MS, refractory spinal arthritis, aging, asthma, premature ovarian failure, and diabetes. We have recently begun treating ALS and will soon begin treating retinal disease, spinal cord injury paralysis, osteoporosis, autism, and cerebral palsy. Every patient we treat is enrolled in one of our foundation's research studies so that we may continue to capture and publish data from our results for the benefit of all.